And uh, who's your favorite Marvel Comics hero? Mine is Superman. Remember the motto? With great power comes great responsibility. Truthfully, I blame Tobey Maguire, friggin' Seabiscuit. And it's ironic, that's the one, that's the one we're gonna use. With great power comes great responsibility. See, I remember the days when only us nerdy guys read comic books and we would quote it to each other. It was like a little insider club. Now DC and Marvel have gone mainstream because you got Twilight over there playing Batman. And there's certain lines that you just shouldn't cross over into, right? Like nobody is talking about how great George Clooney's Batman movie was. Jim Carrey, George Clooney, Tommy Lee Jones, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Uma Thurman. Garbage. Just a whole bunch of people who had no business messing with our stuff, and then they keep messing with our stuff. Stay in your lane. But with great power comes great responsibility. Let's go back to that. Now we have the media, a news story, where they're misquoting something as simple as Spider-Man. And if I can't trust the media to get that one right, how am I supposed to trust you about the important things? You're supposed to be out here giving me the facts, and your fact checker of the facts couldn't even get that one right. You want me to believe everything you tell me is the gospel? No, no, it doesn't work that way. Not when you mess up simple things. Like, we've come to the exception that we're clearly going to let the meteorologist get away with whatever. That's okay. Because maybe it didn't rain there, maybe it didn't snow there, maybe it's not going to be sunny. I don't know. But the facts. Now I can't even trust you with the facts. See, I've always felt like a conspiracy theorist when I was like, I don't think they're telling us the whole truth on the news. But now we know. This should open the eyes to everybody, open Pandora's box that maybe they don't know what they're talking about. We're trusting you to do that, to give us the facts, to bring us together and not divide us. To quote the late, great John F. Kennedy, bitches be lying.